All right, so how much does it cost to start a spice business? Well, I've done quite a few videos here on Marketing Food Online about starting spice businesses and how to do it, but I haven't broken down the actual cost. Now I'm gonna show you a way to launch a very small home-based spice business that you can get up and running for less than $1,500. Yes, you've got $1,500 and you wanna start a spice business. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how that works. We're gonna to get to that right now. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It's Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. Got my marker. Now in this board behind me, I'm actually gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to get a spice business, very small, up and running spice business online. And as far as the costs are concerned, I'm gonna break down each individual cost so you understand how to get up and running. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Damian, well, what kind of a business can I really start as far as a spice business for 1500 bucks? Well, you can get one up and running, very small, very simple, very easy. And I'm going to say it's not easy to run, but it is easy to start if you follow these steps. Every small business, of course, is going to take work, time, patience, and everything else in between. So don't think that any business, for that matter, I've been in business myself for about 14 years now. It is not an easy task, but you can definitely do it if you're willing to do the work. So let's dive right into number one. Now, there's a couple of things you need to know about starting a spice business when you're sourcing your spices. You can, number one, create your own spice blends. You can bring together a multitude of spices and make them. You can sell spices individually as units, or you can pre-buy already made spice blends and repackage them and put your own label on them. So the first thing you want to do is get your spices. You want to figure out what kind of spices you want to have up and running. Now, this could run for your first investment only about four to $500. Yes, I highly recommend you start one with about maybe two to three variations, maybe even four. But I wouldn't go anything much more than that when you first start. These price points I'm going to give you are going to be estimates, and they're going to be based upon starting about two or three different variations, not an entire lineup of 12, 16, 24 different spices. And if you don't have any e-commerce experience, I highly recommend you start small. And yes, you can do it with two or three variations. You don't have to have a ton of them up and running. So number one is going to be your spices. So number two, we're actually going to go with bottles. You're going to get your bottles and you don't need a thousand of them. You just need a few to get up and running. Now bottles, I put you at a price point for bottles in between about $100 to $200 in, in cost. It might be a little bit less to be honest with you. That's a little on the high side. You've got spices and you've got your bottles. Now, Damien, I want to go with glass bottles or maybe I want to do some of those little 10 square bottles that I've seen or they're rectangular bottles that I've seen in the stores that are made of tin or metal. Here's a few things to think of. When you first launch a business, specifically with food, and you don't have a proof of concept just yet, you don't want to invest a lot of money in really high-end expensive packaging. You can always transition into a fancier packaging when you begin to turn a profit. But if you're starting something small and you want to start with a minimal investment, you don't need a fancy, fancy bottle because your label, and I'll get to that in a minute, you can create these labels that'll make the actual packaging look fantastic. So plastic bottles are going to be great. You've got the shaker lid on top, you've got the cap, and that includes even the sealer, uh, the plastic seal, safety seal for the top of it, okay? So you need some bottles, and that's going to get you about $100, about $200. Number three, now you want to get into your labels. <clears throat> Here on Marketing Food Online, I've made numerous videos showing you how to actually print and make your own labels. When it comes to spice bottles, based on the size, I can tell you right now, you can print them for about 8 to $0.12 cents at the most yourself. Yes, 8 to 12 cents. The company that we specifically buy from, um, just to put a plug out there for them, is Online Labels. Online Labels is one that we actually make, create the label, and print it directly from their templates. We have to utilize their labels, of course, when you actually do that. Um, I'll put some links down below here to those other videos for those labels as well, the label printing videos. They show you how you can actually make them very inexpensively. But 8 to 10 cents, and believe it or not, based on the size of, of spice bottles, based on what I know for the dimensions, it might actually be even less than that. So if you invested in labels for your first startup, you're only going to need around labels. You're going to need only around between 10 to maybe $20 worth of labels. Yes. And again, this is to get you started. Now remember, as you sell through these and you begin to make some money in your profit, you can transition to fancier labels if you want someone to print them. You can go to fancier bottles or packaging or even just bags, whatever it may be. But you don't need that when you first get up and running. Number four, you need to create a logo. Now, you don't have to be a graphic designer to do this. You can create a logo for $30 to $40 on Fiverr. Yes, 
I've actually had numerous labels that I've actually had, or logos that I've had made, uh, anywhere from $35 to $45. I've done on Fiverr over and over and over, and they're fantastic. You got to make sure you get obviously the right maker, the right uh, graphic designer, and get the specs as to what you want the logo to be, because that's going to be part of your brand and part of the image that you're looking for. But you don't have to make it rocket science. It doesn't need to be overthought. Okay, so don't overthink this too much. Fiverr is a fantastic place to go. You get it for around $30 to $40. Okay, so number five is going to be your website. Now, you need to make your own website. Do not, I repeat, do not have someone else make and produce a website for you. I know it sounds enticing. It sounds exciting. I can just pass it off to someone else. Here's the problem with that. If you have a, someone, if you build out your own store on Shopify, you build out a store on GoDaddy or Weebly.com, wherever it may be, you need to understand how the website actually works, the functionality and the everyday, day in and out, the working operations of your website. When you build it yourself on the back end, you're going to understand that. Because why? Why is that so important, Damien? Because if I hired somebody out to do a website for me and they created it, and then two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or a month later, I have a problem with it. And I don't understand how that works. I have a customer who wants to buy $500 worth of spices and they can't check out because maybe your cart's not put on there properly. Maybe you're not properly set up for PayPal or a payment processor. What are you going to do? Are you going to contact the person who made your website? Guess what? They're going to be about 20 or 30 websites down the road and they're going to get back to you in a couple of months. That's going to hold up your business. But if you spend the time to make your own website, it's going to cost you considerably less and you're going to know how the website works. You can't just set it up and forget about it. Set it and forget it is not a good philosophy when it comes to e-commerce. It does not work. So you're going to set up a website and guess what? It's only going to cost you about 40 to 50 bucks to have a subscription for that Shopify store, for that GoDaddy store, whatever it may be. It might even be less than that. Um, but our website right now costs us $49.99 a month through Shopify because we have some other apps that we make that we have that we actually apps that we have attached to our website. So it's around 40 to 50 bucks. That's it. It's just going to take your time and you need to be patient with it and you can create your own. Upload your own images. You can take pictures with your phone. You can do the descriptions. You can do the keywords. You can do all of that stuff yourself. But to get up and running the first month, you're looking at about $40 to $50 for the website. Now, I don't recommend just staying on your own website. You need to be on eBay and Etsy. And if possible, you can go to Amazon. Well, Damien, doesn't this going to cost me more money? It sure will. But you know how much it is? A professional seller's account on Amazon, I believe it's $39.99 a month to have a professional. And then eBay, I believe it's around $29 or so. And then Etsy, actually per listing, it's around $0.20 cents plus a couple other fees. So you're talking, let's say on a high end, let's say $15 to get up and running. That is nothing. That's $40, $30, $70, 85 bucks. Very, very little. So you want to be on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy and your own website because here is the problem. There's a huge misconception that having a website on, online in e-commerce is all you need in order for you to sell spices or anything for that matter. That's wrong. It's incorrect because you will not get any traffic to your website. So you need to be found on websites such as eBay that have an existing customer base. You need to be found on Etsy, which again has an existing customer base and so does Amazon. All of these websites have traffic already that you don't have to actually pay for in order for you to at least expose people to your spices. If you want to get customers and get some eyeballs on your product, Utilize their websites plus your own because you're going to get a lot of people who are going to go to eBay or go to Amazon. They're going to find your spices and love them and buy them. Then they're going to learn a, bit, a little bit more about your own website. So what they're going to do from there is go to your website that you built on Shopify or Weebly. So don't rely solely upon selling strictly on your own website. Leverage other platforms. That's what they're there for. Okay. Now, next up is going to be number six. <coughs> Let's get into some business and legal legalities of it. So you want to get your business license to do this. Now, you're going to be doing this from home. And even though you may fall under cottage food laws, there's actually a way that you can operate an e-commerce business completely from home without you even touching your spices. It's having a cold packer or a private label company produce them for you, send them to fulfillment centers, which we'll touch on in just a minute. Business license normally costs anywhere for a home license about 75 to 125 bucks. And these are annual. Okay, now with a business license, you also want to create an LLC. I'll have some links down below as well. You can actually check on LLCs. You can create online for literally 100, 200 bucks, maybe even 300 at the most, and you're done. And you can make them within 10 to 15 minutes. So your LLC formation, you're going to be about 200 to 300. Okay. Next up, you're going to get insurance. You need to have business liability product insurance. Insurance, Damien, doesn't that cost a lot of money? I got to pay. No. Because you can use companies like uh, the one that we use, for instance, is Next Insurance. 
Next insurance allows us to pay by the month. Our monthly fee for that, I believe, is around $42 a month. So you don't have to come out of pocket with five, six hundred, seven, or even eight hundred or thousand dollars for an insurance policy for a whole year. You simply pay it by the month. So you're looking again, start up your spice business around 42, 50 bucks at the most. That's for a basic product liability insurance. Now let's get into the logistics where we just talked about fulfillment centers. So you're saying, Damien, I can run this business from home. Yes, the business side of it you can run from home. If you decide to go online, there's two ways to do this. Your spice business can be run from home and you make the spices and you bring the products and you create an ingredients, you put them together, you sell them locally at farmer's markets or you sell them online in some states that allow you to ship within the state. Now, if you want to go the next step and you want to have a full-blown e-commerce business and you want to ship across state lines, you'll have to have a fulfillment center, take the product from a co-packer, private label company, send that to a fulfillment center. Now, what's a fulfillment center, Damien? I have no idea what that is. So number eight is fulfillment centers. These are websites, I'm sorry, websites. These are warehouses that will ship your product for your e-commerce website business. So that means that once the spice is made, you're not touching it, right? You're not shipping it over state lines. You can still operate from your home. Have the company, your fulfillment center, get the product from your co-packer or your private label company, and they put it in a warehouse, and they're going to charge you anywhere from 30 cents, 30 cents up to maybe about 75 cents per unit for spices. This is going to vary, of course, based on a couple of factors, but all in all, when you're talking about spices, they're very small and they're very lightweight, about 75 cents per unit. If you go with Amazon FBA fulfillment, they're skyrocketed their fees. If the product weighs more than a pound, you're talking about several dollars to fill it. And it's outrageous. But a fulfillment center can ship the product through your website. For instance, you're selling on eBay. I go there and I buy your spice. You can have the fulfillment center ship your eBay order for you. So again, you're not doing the logistics. You're not doing the fulfillment. That would be outside of the realm of cottage food, and that's not legal, technically. So if you do this, this way, this method actually allows you to operate your business from home, a home office, but you're not manufacturing, you're not making them there. You're having a co-packer do it for you. Lastly, you want to do on number nine. This is going to be what we talked about local. Now, if you want to make them yourself, you want to buy the spices and blend them and create a spice blend product or a whole line of spices and sell them at farmers, markets, fairs, and festivals, there are fees involved with that. So Damien, you want to talk about $1,500 or so for a spice business. How much does it cost to sell locally? Well, farmers markets, local venues are going to charge you either a couple of ways. A flat fee, they're going to charge you. They can say, hey, you got for $100, you can be here the whole weekend. 100 bucks, farmer's market, maybe even less than that. Set up your tent, set up your area. You can sample out your spices. You can sell your spices and so on. That's a local fee. Now, it could also be the other way where they're going to charge you a percentage. They say, Damien, well, we charge 5% of whatever you make. So if you want to start a local spice business, you can be charged either a flat fee for local events or a flat fee with a percentage or just a percentage. Again. Very minuscule, very small startup, you can start this business with less than $1,500. So if we added up all of these here, you've got on the high end, let's just take the high end estimations, 500, 700, 720, 760, and you're looking at 810, you're looking at about 90, so that's around 1,000, 1,300, 1,340, you're looking at just over 1,500, slightly over $1,500 to get started. So, what business can I start with around $1,500 or $2,000 less, and can I even do a spice business? Yes, you can. This is a very quick, easy breakdown of what it would cost to get up and running. Now, some of these might be slightly higher, but also some of them might be slightly lower as far as your fees. But can you get a spice business started for this much money? Most definitely you can. You can even do it online, and you can have an e-commerce business up and running immediately, or you can even sell it out of your house through cottage food law because most states, actually almost every state that I know of, when it comes to spices and spice blends and herbs and such, that is something that is allowed and it's not a non-potentially hazardous food product. So you can do it at home and you can even expand your presence online and you can sell locally or even online. As long as you are having online, you've got a fulfillment center and you've got a company sending the product to you so you're never touching it. Okay. So that is how much it costs to start a spice business. If you have any questions about it, definitely let us know down below. If you actually start, started or launched a spice business and you've got some experience, please leave us some comments because some of our new subscribers here on Marketing From Online would love to hear about it. But also check out these here, these videos as well for any additional resources that you might be looking for and interested in. This will help you get some food businesses up and running. See you guys in our next video.